He lives by a set of fundamental beliefs that are unshakable, and through his own struggles, finds a way to make a difference in someone else's life. The way he handles what happens to him in life inspires others to do great things as well. The name of the award was, was a firehouse nickname that Timmy carried for years because he liked to go to jobs or fires. Tonight's recipient started out as a volunteer firefighter in various departments in Long Island. He was called to serve in the New York City Police Department in 1995 and stayed with the NYPD until he was called for the fire department in 1998. He was first assigned to Ladder 123 and eventually to Rescue 2. Right before Christmas in 2011, Rob, along with Rescue 2, was searching a top floor apartment for reported trapped occupants in a home that was burning. Suddenly, the fire flashed over, engulfing and burning him, over 60% of his body with debilitating burns. He spent over 180 days in the New York Presbyterian burn unit and has endured more than 14 surgeries and skin grafts. And he is still a member of Rescue 2 and is working his way back to full duty. I first met the Weedmans in the burn center the day that Rob was injured. As bad as his injuries were, I remember thinking that he was going to pull through and heal because he had such a great loving family around him. His company was by his side and everyone was rallying around him to make sure he was supported through his recovery. He has set an example of determination and courage. He has found ways to step up and give back to the people that were there for him in his worst time. Last year when we were working on purchasing our fire family transport vehicle, we were collaborating, as Patrick said earlier, with Ladder 147 Rescue 2 and the Valentino Fund. And Rob heard about the plan and quickly stepped up and became involved in a way that made the plan for the car a reality. Unfortunately, families of injured or sick firefighters and their families know too well how important those vehicles are. <clears throat> Rob didn't hesitate, and this Chevy Tahoe became a reality. We owe great thanks to him for that. He has two beautiful children and is here tonight with his wife, Kathy, and his parents, Irene and Bob, and his brother, Doug, and sister-in-law, Amy, and the members of Rescue 2. Please help me to congratulate this year's Jobs Award recipient, Firefighter Rob Weedman.